The sun is brilliant, and it was in May. And it was probably about 20 years ago, and I was in Boston attending a conference with other colleagues and professionals at the Copley Square Hotel. So I drove in there, I took the tea, and got in there, and the sun was shining, and the conference was inside the Copley Square Hotel, which is beautiful and magical and wonderful, and filled with 900 people in this large conference room. And the conference was wonderful and great and interesting and exciting and educational. And then we had lunch. We each took a sandwich, my friends, eight friends and I, and we said, let's go outside and eat. Maybe in the Copley Square Plaza and just sit there. And so we went out there and with our sandwiches, and we said, now nah, let's go over to the river, Charles River. And so we walked over to the Charles River and it was there, the river was flowing, and it was magical, the glistening light, and the sun was shining, and everybody was doing it. The boats were on the river, people were running and laughing, and children playing, and it was wonderful. And we sat there eating our lunch, and we had to be back by one o'clock. So we're eating our lunch, and it was 1.15, and it was 1.30, and it was 1.45, and it was 2 o'clock, and we were still not eating our lunch, but eating our companionship, our friendship, our joy in being with each other. It was 2.30, quarter of three, and somebody said, should we go back? <laughs> nah. <laughs> because that's where the conference was taking place for the eight of us, because we were surrounded by the world. It was all happening right there, and it was wonderful. And I, I just remember sitting there and, and just absorbing this. Oh, could anything be better? And I remember saying to all these people in a moment of silence, the eight of us, and we talked about everything under the sun, some things profound, some things ridiculous, some things obscene, some things strange and wonderful, but there we were. And I sat back on the grass and looked. I said, wouldn't it be great if life were like this? <laughs> And somebody across the way, Chuck said to me, what'd you say, Alan? I said, wouldn't it be great if life were like this? And he said, Alan, it is. <laughs> so today, so thank you for making today like this. Sitting here outside in the sunshine Just sitting and thinking and drinking a beer I haven't stopped in a long time Just to watch the bird fly And I can't believe that I am still here I think I'll have another beer Oh God, I'm lonely, but my God, I'm only lonely, and I'm going to be all right. Oh God, I'm lonely, but my God, I'm only lonely, and I'm going to be all right. And all the questions that I had, I have tried to let rest. Since the day you went away I have burned them in my fever I have drowned them in my tears They still come back to me each day I guess all I can do is pray Oh God, I'm lonely But my God, I'm only lonely and I'm gonna be all right 
Oh God, I'm lonely, but by God I'm only lonely, and I'm gonna be alright. I hope you finally found your heaven. I hope you took away your pain. Yeah. I hope that one day I'll be strong enough just to dance beneath your rain. Oh, but God, I'm lonely. My God, I'm only lonely. And I'm going to be all right. Oh, God, I'm lonely. But by God, I'm only lonely. And I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be all right. Because I want to be, I want to be, I want to be all right. Sitting here outside the sunshine Just sitting and thinking and drinking a beer Thank you. This first poem is called Day One. It's uh, about my first day at Dana-Farber. Day One. My nurse gives me a three-ring binder. Green and blue tabs mark chemotherapy side effects, radiation side effects, healthcare proxy, barred power port surgical insertion and bleeding, pet feeding tube surgical insertion and infections, anesthesia, anti-nausea drugs, weight loss and nutrition, diarrhea and constipation, steroids and insomnia, pain pills and pain patches, wigs and scarves, sexual dysfunction. I carry my bind into the elevator. Waiting there is a whistling man, sunken eyes, bald, no eyebrows, cancer sucks button on his backpack. He grins at me and asks, what are you in for, kid? And, uh, this goes much later on um, in the midst of radiation. Uh, my name is Richard, and I'm a page poet. You can all figure out what that shape is, apply your own meaning. Uh, this is an Agita, which is a poem. Uh, each, each line, you start with a certain number of lines. I start with 14 lines here, and every line has one less syllable, and your final word is something of significance. If I die today, bury me in this purple blanket. I'd ask for the dog, too, curled in the crook of my arm. He isn't the one with cancer and likes you more. If you have shiva to sit, he'll fill your lap. Thanks for cleaning the floor when I pass out and spill formula from the pet tube. Please hold my head as I vomit. Blanket bleeds all hours since. My drool, drink, and food stains. In the grave totem. Not for my warmth, but my nose triggers faith. Thank you. Bloodlines, one. A nick of a knife drew blood on the tip of one girl's finger and then the other, so both had scarlet pools at the tips. Pressed together meant blood sisters for life, an act of intimacy remembered always. Two, long ago women bled their monthly cycles onto the fields to ensure a good harvest, and the groves were full of songbirds, and the surplus food was buried in underground baskets. Times change and women were no longer permitted to crouch down and let their blood flow. Men began to fight fierce battles of might and right and their bloody battle wounds began to feed the hungry earth. And it was never enough. Countries ravaged by war could never get enough blood to satisfy the earth and the crops did not grow like before. Three. 
Within your blood are swirling, spirals, double helixes, DNA codes to make up every cell of your body, and codes to show every aspect of your personality, and codes to show how your brain operates. This very blood boils when you are angry and sings when you are in love, and with a deep kiss, all of your blood moves and aligns with the other, a sweet and deep hunger to connect, helixes waiting to mix and match. Four. We all start by borrowing the body and blood of our mothers. She opens up a space in her heart and belly to let us grow within her, and as we grow and wiggle and squirm and roll over, we are part of her body, protected by her skin, and fed through her blood. Our cells multiply and divide and form tissues and organs and organ systems, and finally a whole live person. We start with the body and blood of our mother, and we are birthed between her two strong legs. She opens up wide enough for our large heads to push through and out, leaving her forever marked by our passage. We open up our lungs and yell, and we leave the watery world of the womb behind. We start with the body and blood of our mother, and for this we give thanks. Five. <clears throat> Children are our greatest wealth. Bloodlines surge forward, carrying all the wisdom of past ages through to you. DNA spiral of markers and mutations arrive. Today, for you to carry out, you are in our future. To the children of today, we salute your courage, arriving now to further life's purpose. Our blood carries instructions, careful blueprints to unravel through a lifetime of possibility. And you must take the plans from the twin spirals of life and transform everything into a brand new world. Because your ancestors are counting on it. As they smile and wave you on, the future generations will do the same for you. Seize the moment now and honor the new mutations marking a whole new direction in Earth's history. Thank you. Look into the eyes of a stranger Look beyond the cover of a book Deep inside we're not so different The heart beats just the same If we take the time to look Let there be hope in the sunrise Embrace the colors of the day We only have one horizon among us Let's try a little bit of faith Turn around, open your eyes Try to see the other side Try to reach across an ocean in between Love is breaking through the night Take the shadows, give them light Take the fear and take the time to set it free Open our minds so the heart can see Listen to the voice of a stranger Hear what other words have to say And listen to the language of children around the world Let them bring to us a brighter day Let there be peace in the sunset Embrace the colors of the day We only have one tomorrow before us Let's try to find a better way Turn around, open your eyes Try to 
see the other side Try to reach across an ocean in between Love is breaking through the night Take the shadows, give them light Take the fear and take the time to set it free Love is breaking through the night Take the shadows, give them light Take the fear and take the time to set it free Open our minds so the heart can see Thank you. When I was reading uh, about the uh, features for today, I, I, I thought this would be um, a good poem to read. It's called Forgiven. I was sitting at the sandbox on one bright and sunny morn when James came out to join me. And so a new game was born. I was asked to tidy up and put some order in his box. So I promptly picked up all the toys and lined up all the rocks. He returned in just a moment with a look of great dismay. Why did you empty out my cups? They were for us to play. So sorry, James, I didn't know. What did you want to make? It's okay, Nana, I'm not mad. It was just a little mistake. <laughs> That's it. thank you. Jumping tonight into Normandy We're lined up in the belly of a plane With all our gear Each soldier weighs his odds In silence as the engines roar finally get to prove what we're made of brothers in arms ready for the fight ahead a finer group of men I'll never have a chance to meet army knowing in the end I'd hear the dinner bell We're jumping tonight into Normandy Fireworks rock the sky as we come in sight of land our lead plane takes a hit and spirals to the ground in flames. The green light comes on and we're out the door. We're falling from the sky like confetti from a bag. The enemy below is waiting, the hour has come. Oh, I remember playing soldier in the woods at home when I was twelve. I would 
face the fiercest army knowing in the end I'd hear the dinner bell We're jumping tonight into Normandy And if I have to die let me take it like a man be gentle when you tell my mother be gentle when you tell my mother Well, in early spring, when the snow is gone, you take a walk in the woods. Look around, there's a tree in the path, branches on the ground, and you know it's time to get the chainsaw out. Clearing brush and cutting weeds, picking off brambles, raking leaves, you're picking up what snow brought down. Now's the time for spring clearing. There's a tree on the ground with branches under tension A tree leaning over the pasture fence And a tree in the stream so it blocks the route Surely time to get the chainsaw out Clearing brush and cutting weeds Picking off brambles, raking leaves You're picking up what snow brought down Now's the time for spring clearing So you get out the saw, mix the fuel, sharpen the chain and fill the oil. Then you haul on the starter, check the choke, wonder whether the engine's broke. Still trying to get that saw to start. Here it goes. Clearing brush and cutting weeds. Picking off brambles, raking leaves. We're picking up what snow brought down. Now's the time for spring clearing. So you salvage wood to warm you in the winter. Tug on branches and curse the splinters You chop the twigs, what's left makes a pile Now go inside and rest for a while Clearing brush, cutting weeds Picking off brambles, raking leaves We're picking up what snow brought down Now's the time for spring clearing You build the brush pile up and then you burn it down And when the fire's out, great coals around Water the ash, time for a bath Tomorrow more spring clearing Clearing brush, cutting weeds Picking off brambles, raking leaves We're picking up what snow brought down Now's the time for spring clearing
Thank you. For those who didn't, for those who didn't recognize that the last poet was Living in the Country by Pete Seeger. Three kinds of souls, three prayers. I am a bow in your hand, Lord. Draw me, lest I rot. Do not overdraw me, Lord, lest I break. Overdraw me, Lord, and who cares if I break? And that's the inscription. 